Every year, our cars get safer, our phones smarter, and our medical treatments more advanced. So why is it that here, in one of the most advanced countries in the world, we're still using the legal technology of 1787? I mean, if you drove a car from 1787, it would be a horse. <laughs> I mean, surely some of the advances of the last two centuries have enabled new, better forms of government. For example, America's founders were brilliant, but they couldn't design a political system using the internet because it didn't exist then. So why don't we see more innovation in politics? Now, politics is a pretty emotionally charged subject. I'm not supposed to talk about that or religion. Uh, so let's take a new perspective. Let's forget about left and right and instead put our entrepreneur hats on. Let's think of government as an industry where countries are firms and citizens are customers. Now this is not just any industry. This is the world's biggest industry. The leading firm had 2009 revenues of 2.5 trillion dollars. Strangely, it's also an industry legendary for poor performance. That leading firm lost 1.4 trillion dollars. And that's a top company. The worst companies kill many of their own customers. <laughs> that's a pretty sad industry. Now for humanity, this is a huge problem. But with our entrepreneur hats on, what a business opportunity. A startup country could be the world's first trillion dollar business. It's that or space, right? The problem is right now, there's no way for an entrepreneur with a great idea for a startup country to make it happen. Unlike the software industry, where many people started with just a laptop, to enter the government industry, you need an open space, a physical place that allows political experiments. But there is no such place. Every piece of land in the world is claimed. So there are no startup countries. There's no channel for the innovation of entrepreneurs. No wonder it's such a sad industry. So that's how we come to seasteading, homesteading the high seas. What we need is a new frontier, an open space for political experiments. And the next frontier is the ocean. With a little technical innovation to make this new frontier accessible, we can unleash enormous political innovation. Let a thousand nations bloom on the high seas, trying diverse political systems, essentially a startup sector for government. And of course, you don't have to go out there to benefit. The best discoveries of these startups, like in any industry, will be copied by the market leaders, the countries of today. So seasteading is the entrepreneurial way to fix government, by competing with it instead of complaining about it. That's why every day at the Seasteading Institute, we're growing our community of pioneers and conducting research into engineering, business models, and international law. Here's what we expect the progress to look like. We think seasteading will begin in three to 10 years on ships, repurposed for businesses like medical tourism. In a decade, they'll progress to innovative designs based on oil rigs, hosting a range of businesses and thousands of residents. And in several decades, they'll evolve into true floating cities for millions of people pioneering new ways to live together. Sounds like science fiction, but as Christine said, after 25 years, science fiction can become fact. It's an incredible vision, and it's urgent that we get these experiments started as soon as possible. I mean, we can already see that existing political systems are straining to cope with the realities of the 21st century. We need to find the next generation of government technologies. We need to find banking systems that can handle the inevitable financial crises, medical regulations that protect people without retarding innovation, democracies that ensure that our representatives truly represent us. Humanity needs seasteading, and seasteading needs you. We need experienced entrepreneurs who can join us in bringing the Silicon Valley spirit of innovation to where it's most sorely needed. So please come by our table, talk to the team, and learn more about how you can help. Thank you.